Hey, and welcome to another video in my eBay parts repair playlist, the playlist of videos where I go on eBay and purchase broken electronic items, and I try and fix them on camera. Um, the rules to this playlist are usually I buy items only below $20, they can't be cracked, and etc, etc, but I don't follow those rules. But if you want to see the rules, they're down in the description below. Um, and if you've been with me since I started this series and you're a fan of the series, welcome back. And if you're new to the series, the entire playlist is on my channel and it's listed down in the description below so you can go check it out. Also, don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Um, also, turn on notifications by hitting the bell notification button so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. I'm also on Instagram and Discord, so you can go follow me on those. The, the links to those will be down in the description as well. And now let's jump right in. So what we have here today is something a bit special. So in, if you if you were in, into smartphones and you were in, in the, uh, the tech geek gang back in 2010 to 2014, 2010 to 2014, I think that was the time where all this craze was. Um, that was a craze for 3D fuel phones uh, that is 3D stereoscopic display phones, phones that could take 3D images and playback 3D video or uh, images on their screen. So what a stereoscope, what stereoscopy means, it's 3D. It means double, uh, I, I really don't know how to explain it in, out, out loud, but you could Google stereoscopy. That means 3D. So these phones were the OG dual camera phones. They had two cameras for capturing in 3D and this phone is considered by some to be the first 3D phone, but that's not the truth. It, the first 3D phone is a phone from 2002 called the Sharp Mova 21 SHI or something like that. But the, the first 3D phone was by Sharp. This is the LG Optimus 3D. Um, this was released in the US as the LG Thrill 4G. It's basically the same phone, but the Optimus 3D looked a bit different. The Thrill had a bigger kind of thing like that. Um, this very well could be a uh, thrill actually, because I'm not really sure exactly what they look like. I'm pretty sure that the, the thrill had a bigger chin and the, thr the the easiest way to confirm that the difference is that the thrill was not upgradable to 4.2 or that is lollipop, I think. Um, but it was stuck with Froyo as I remember, um, but we shall see. So the issue with this phone is that it won't turn on. So it's pretty dirty as well. Um, but let's just try turning it on. It's not going to turn on, obviously. Um, cracked screen. I hope the display is not damaged because you can't replace the display on these phones that easily. Uh, so it says 3D there, volume rocker, dual camera with a single uh, LED flash, at and I think this is. I think this is a Thrill 4G instead of an Optimus 3D. They're similar phones, but. The Optimus 3D was Asia and Europe only. The Thrill 4G was the rebranded phone for the American market. So let's just try plugging it in, but I'm gonna list this as Optimus 3D because most people knew it as the Optimus 3D. So let's go plug it in, see what happens. I do have another 3D phone, an HTC, that is awaiting repair and it's being a pain in the butt. So I apologize if I promised you that video, it's just not happening, the phone is not uh, uh, cooperating. So this thing, we don't see power. There is no power. Let's try turning it on. It very well could be a very dead battery. So does it even have a battery though? That's the question. Let's take it apart, see what's up under these things. So we do have a battery, single SIM card, memory expansion, um, made in Korea. So I think I think this thing is the uh, Optimus 3D because the uh, Thrill 4G was made in China apparently. Um, let's test this battery if it has any power. Let's see if it's just a battery issue. Hold up. There, let's test this for power. We got negative, positive. So this one's negative. This one's positive. So we do have 2.9 volts. That's pretty low, but it's, uh, this is what, a 3.7 volt battery? Yeah, so it's low, but it's not dead. So it's not a dead battery by any means. 2.8, 2.9 volts. Another thing I wanna check is 
when I plug this in, is it provide? Is there a power loop? Like, is the uh, charging loop completed? So, I plug this in. There should be charging power coming through those pins there. So let's see. Yeah, it's so it is showing four volts. I think that's what it charges at. So it's showing four volts, four point two volts DC. Um, yeah. So we have 4.2 volts DC. So there is a power loop. That means we don't have like a charging problem or anything. So the next thing, I guess what we could do is just take it apart. Aha. Uh -huh. So we have a water damage indicator. Now batteries, they could get water damaged and you dry them off, they'll be okay after some time. But this indicator is originally should be white. But now it's turned red, meaning we have a possibility of water damage. But there's also a chance that this thing came in contact with just some humidity. So it does not necessarily mean water damage, but it could very well be water damage. So I'm not sure. Let's try hard putting it into recovery mode, down button, down volume and power button. So we're not getting lights or no, we're not getting anything. Um, the crack doesn't seem too bad. There's not there's no glass like falling off or anything. Uh yeah, we're not getting anything. Okay, so I guess we'll just take it apart. Here comes the fun stuff. Okay, so let's take it apart. So we might jolly well have water damage. We don't know. So if it's water damage and it's been sitting for a long time. I don't know whether it'll ever work. Yeah, yeah, it's it's definitely water damage. Look at the other indicator, that's red too. So we have a water damaged uh, phone for sure. Okay, so we finally got it off and we have another water indicator there again tripped as red so I'm assuming all three indicators tripped this thing was definitely soaked in water so that's not great news but we'll see what we can do about it so I don't see any signs of water damage um, we have some parts that I don't understand really because this is a 3D phone. This thing's going to have certain things that aren't really familiar to like people who opened up like normal phones. But it still shares most of the parts. Uh, here's the camera module, uh, which is the most interesting part. So I guess we'll be dousing this in alcohol. That's what we'll be doing. So we have sign... What is it? Synoptics? Synoptics. It says synoptics there. So there's a lot of extra things in this phone, as you can see. Um, a lot of cables and stuff. How is this boat stuck down? Is it just... Let me, let me just unplug everything because I'm not really sure of like how I'm supposed to approach this. Um, Maybe I should watch a video on someone taking it apart because I have no experience with these things at all. Um, yeah, the boat is somewhat pasted down. Um, so I figured out how to take the boat off and I also managed to confirm what this thing is. So it's an LG P925. So it's, a th it's actually a Thrill 4G. It's not an Optimus 3D. So we're gonna be stuck with Froyo, I think. But that's no big deal so as a collector i'd like to get my hands on the optimus 3d as well so there'll be a video for another day but i don't think i'd find any of those in the states um i'll have to look to japan or somewhere for that um but it is what it is so this comes off this is like a modular motherboard this part is separate from this as you can see a darker color um, it's separate from that. Um, 
So we got to get this off. This thing is pasted down. There we go. So that's pasted down. Uh, we have this board. So this is pasted down too. And it's going to be a bit tough to get it off. We'll try. Um, okay. There we go. So that is that motherboard, that part of the motherboard. It's stuck down pretty nasty with this tape. So it's a pretty flexible part. So we have the flash and we have the SIM and um, micro, micro SD expansion slots there. So underneath here, we have the rest of everything. Uh, there's another connector here. A lot of connectors on one phone. Probably the most I've seen on a phone. That door, no, that, I think that goes to the, uh, to, uh, an iPhone 3G, I think. No, wait, the iPhone 3G had only three. No, no, no. That, this has the most connectors on a phone I've seen. Um, that's the motherboard. This thing is going in alcohol, obviously. Aha! There we are. You see that? That's water. That's... That's not good. So we had um, serious water damage. I think for the first time on my channel, serious water damage, like big, big time water damage, because I've never had this level of water damage before. Um, let's try and get the camera module out. How do, how would I get this out? Is it pasted down? Um, yeah, I think it's pasted down. Let's try and get it out here. No, it doesn't want to come out. Maybe it could just stay there. Kind of bent my uh, uh, tweezers there as well. The camera module does not want to come out. So what do we have here? So we have definitely water all over the place. And I'm pretty scared that the water got into all the 3D stuff down there. As you can see, it has, it has another logic board under there, a smaller one. That probably handles all the 3G uh, thingamajigs. But... I can imagine how, how are they gonna take the camera off how do i there's a lot more under there and i'd like to clean all of that stuff out um i don't see a way to get under there this is one part is this like printed in there i don't know but okay now oh, there's only one thing left to do and that's douse this in alcohol i'll be right back So I'm gonna take this off. Uh, can I take that off? Or is it a part? No, I can't take it off. Um, sometimes these damn things are like soldered down and they're really annoying. Um, it's just basically a heat protective thing. There we go. That's one. There we are. That's one. The alcohol has gone there, so that's good. Um, what do we have here? We have Samsung. We have... I keep getting the camera out of focus. We have Samsung. We have SK Hynix. It's probably the built-in memory. Um, let's clean that up. This one, I don't think I can take it apart because I feel like it's soldered on there. Yeah, this one's soldered. It's a part of the... No, wait, wait, wait. Hold up. Wait a minute. Sometimes these are soldered. Sometimes they're not.
Okay, so I guess that's much as I can do for cleaning. Let's put this back together. I'm not gonna put the whole thing back together. I'm gonna leave out that other small part, the, 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 the smaller board like thing. I don't think it needs that to turn on, um, but I'm not sure. Uh, we'll have to see. Because some phones, they can work without certain of their parts, like for example, iPhones, they can work with missing parts and so on, but there are others that don't wanna do that. I don't know if this one is one of those. We shall see. Um, I think this display has more than two connectors because of this 3D, uh, whole 3D thingamajig. Um, we shall see. So let's plug this in. We don't have to put it down too much. Let's, uh, oh, wait. Okay, so I cleaned the, all the connectors and the plugs like things individually. Um, where did this go? We're missing that, but that's okay. Um, I'm not gonna plug, put the whole thing back together because we might have to clean it a bit more. Um, let's put the essentials. That is not an essential part. This is just the flash and so on. It's not an essential part. I'm pretty sure it could work without that. Um, you know what, let's just put it in just in case. it. It, want, it just doesn't want to register because we don't want to take any risks here. I don't want to make this video longer than it should. So let's put that in too. Um, are we missing anything? Nope. So let's put the battery. Let's put the battery there. Let's see if it turns on. Pressing the power button because the power button is exposed here. Um, nope, we're not getting any power. Let's try plugging it in. Um, the battery's sitting fine there. Let's try plugging this thing in. Um, let's grab the, grab this. Oh, we're not, we're still not getting anything. Um, so I guess this was way, way too long. Maybe this, like this phone, for example, is nine years old. Maybe the water damage was just way too much because I don't think I can clean it more than I already have. But I'll try once more off camera and then we'll, we'll try and plug it in together on camera. Um, I'm not seeing anything. I'm not seeing the notification light if it ever, it, does it even have one? I think it has one. So I'm not seeing any form of power whatsoever. So I'll just do one more round of cleaning and jump back to that part. So I think I found the problem here and I don't think I can fix this problem and with my current setup, like all my repair tools and stuff. Let me just zoom in here. If you look at this black, I think it's a resistor or some sort of diode. It's loose. As you can see, it's moving there. Let me do that again. There we go. The thing is moving. So it's broken. It's broken from its solder, solder mounts. Um, now this is micro soldering. That's something I've done, but not with my own tools. I'm not an expert on it either. But I'll try and re-solder re that and clean that stuff out. Like underneath it, there's a lot of corrosion. But I'm not sure if I could actually uh, complete that. Because I just have a basic soldering iron and basic, uh, basic solder like that. But let's see. Let's see. I'll just go hook up my soldering iron and see what happens. I mean, we don't have anything to lose. Even if I mess it up more, it's already broken. It's not going to work. So let's just try re resoldering that in place all right i'll go get my soldering iron and be right back so i found out that my soldering iron won't even like uh, fit in there so i'll try and yank it out there i know that's not the best thing to do but just let's there you go so i have the port with me uh, i was a it just came out cleanly um goes i don't think it matters which way it goes in but i remember it was an upside down d when i look from this way so 
that's the part um there's a lot of rust there a lot of uh, corrosion um let's just do that there may be more parts that are damaged um i just can't like find them now but i will do a another thorough search after i've done this but the chances of me completing this properly is pretty low um i the, con the contacts look okay let's see um so it goes like that okay so what i'm gonna try and do is get some solder on those pads i've already cleaned them up i'm gonna apply a bit more flux as well this flux is not ideal but i can't find my uh my other flux um this should do sorry about the bad lighting and i had to move my tripod out, out of the way this is actually sitting on my uh um wireless charging stand now so it's really close up and it allows me more space to move but it's still not ideal so i'll just get some solder on the iron here like that just coat that with solder it's a really small connection so have a different approach that thing's not really sticking I'm, i managed to get one end in but it's the rest is not sticking so what i'll do is try and clean this up and i'll actually try doing this off camera because i still have the phone in my face so i'll try it and i'll let you know what happens all right so i tried doing this off camera multiple times over the course of two months because i'm shooting this part of this video uh two months later after the last part and over the course of two months i tried various things and trying to resort of the stuff but more pieces of the boat kept kept on falling out so um yeah i can't fix this uh so much of the boat has corroded away it's just impossible to fix um, and a lot of the water has got absorbed into the boat as well like between the layers so it's it's one of those phones where it's just impossible to fix um so in that case i paid way too much well i paid way too much anyway but now that i can't fix it uh yeah that sinks in a bit more but that's the risk of buying stuff well untested stuff off ebay so yeah but that's okay i'll just still keep this phone around um just i don't know what i'll do with it maybe just like a showpiece or something but I can't fix it and I've already put it back together. Um, a lot of these things kept on falling off. There's one missing over here, I think. Um, there's small resistors and uh, capacitors and stuff. So yeah, I can't fix this, but that's okay. Um, can't expect to succeed every time, right? But yeah, so that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and check out my channel. And if you like what you see, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Thumbs up and I'll see you guys in my next video.